This morning, Joanne and I are headed out to a two-day business workshop. We're bringing two of our guys with us. Lots of uh, pond-related specific topics that are going to be covered. We're there for all business, not for fun. Right. We're up at Minerals Hotel in Vernon, which is right next to Mountain Creek, if you're familiar with North Jersey. Whenever we go somewhere, I usually drive, but this time Joanne drove, because she does get a little car sick. Definitely. I get a little car sick when she drives. Too bad. <laughs> You guys are behind the screen. So Joe, who are you teamed up with? With Tim over here. The best, my friend. Winning team, see? You're out, bud. Here are the rules. There are rules. We're playing at 20 points. If you go over, you go back to 15. You need to land on 20 points. Can you get that fucking thing out of my face? You better not put that on the rod. So how'd you do in the first round? Winner! I want to. So here's the deal, Atlantis has three people out of four that made it to the semifinals. Steve unfortunately lost, but we're up next. I play Alan Decker and April, both good friends of mine, but I'm still gonna crush them. April, we just played, right? We did just play. How'd that go? Went fantastic, I won, it's so amazing. She didn't win. <laughs> We're getting towards the end here. Tim and Joanne on the same team. You guys are, you did well. You won your last game. Uh, yeah, we're the best. I won my last game. Now, who do you play? You, and we're gonna the kill loser. you. That's not gonna, gonna go happening. Well. He's going down. Watch. At all. I got money on Joe and Tim. Where are we at? We're in the middle of the game, 10-6. How's it what's going? This, what's this, what's this? Oh, that's not good. to win. So how did it feel to beat me? Awesome. Everybody wants to beat you. They're living through me right now. They're all thrilled that I beat you. You did an awesome job. So I'm here with Dr. Eric Johnson. He's a renowned koi veterinarian. And Doc, I'm not going to take much of your time. I just wanted to see if you can give me maybe three good tips for coming out of the winter, which is our, the hardest time of the year for the fish, right? Yeah. But so what's the, the three best things somebody could do coming out of the winter to help their fish coming into the spring season? One of the things that comes to mind is maybe they could prune the plants and get things kind of cleaned up a little bit before the uh, full fledged clean out. We were talking today about the shotgun treatment. I think that's probably the most important thing you could consider doing. Say you introduced fish last 
fall without a quarantine or something, those fish are going to come into spring kind of behind the eight ball as far as a parasite or something. Mm -hmm. uh, and based on the, the safety of the shotgun, I wonder whether or not it might not be a bad idea to do the shotgun treatment. So the shotgun consists of either the formalin malachite treatment right. or Mardell clout. And it's fairly simple. The clout's probably the safer one of the two to do. I would think. It's so benign on the environment as far as plants and fish, water quality, biofilm. So that's going to knock off a, a good amount of any existing parasites that are considerably. So they could either deploy a Mardell clout shotgun in the pond, or they could do that and put some Mardell clout in the holding facility as well. We cut the plant material back, get some of that stuff out of there, treat them with the clout or the malachite, depending on the volume you're treating. Yep. What would be one more thing that would be good to do to help the fish get their best start to spring? The, this year we're at a real disadvantage that the uh, medicated food is gone. There is none. Um, I, a lot of people have been trying to find some. So without medicated food, we're kind of behind the eight ball on treating bacterial infections. And that's a big thing in the springtime. So uh, Casey Lefevre over at uh, Blue Ridge Fish Hatchery, they have released a food that has uh, probiotics and some other juju in it. Uh, I don't claim to understand it, but it is better than nothing. And I know that they would not produce a food with these things in it that didn't have some benefit. In other words, they are not snake oil salespeople. They have to believe in it. They're using it at their place. Um, so it might be something um, that would be interesting to try on the fish. We used to carry the medicated food, and that was always our go-to coming out, like do 10 days or so of medicated. Sure. Now the medicated food is not available anymore anywhere, right? Anywhere. So now going with a probiotic, at least maybe it's going to be a preventative to help give the fish a good boost coming out of the season, yeah. which so if we'll be carrying that. it the immune system or whatever, um, and I think the hobbyists need to know where to get that. But I don't know whether it's going to cost 50% more than regular food or three times as much as regular food, but I can't see it being so expensive that it would be a waste of time to try it. Even if it gives them a 10 or 20% edge on bacteria, that would be worth it. Doc, I really appreciate you spending some time with me. No problem. And have a great time. trip, Brad. Thanks. And I really enjoyed your, uh, your seminar as well. Thanks. So Joe and I are heading out now. What'd you get out of that, Joe? I learned that I'm better than you at cornhole. We're not listening to that anymore. <laughs>